Short term 12, this is Grace. Remember, you're not their parent, you're not their therapist. You are here to create a safe environment, and that's it. Got it. Luis, you better be up. So this is how it's gonna be. We just did a screening last night for KCRW, and there was a young man in the audience who raised his hand and said, as someone who spent a good part of his life um, in and out of that system, he said it rang very, very true and felt entirely authentic to him, um, which is always nice to hear. Both of us, when we signed on, understood the responsibility that we were taking and the sensitivity that we needed to take in order to approach the material accurately. That ended up being the thing that drove us to make these performances that I'm really proud of because you want to do right by these people. You spend any time with them and you feel that these are really hardworking, loving people. And I wanted to feel confident that when they saw the film, that that would be something that would move them too. Mace, I love you like a brother, but I gotta say that when it come to being discreet, you're a disgrace. I mean, you think we all don't know about him and Grace on the low, undercover trying to date. <laughs> We met each other a couple uh, days before we started shooting and, and we had never met before. And Destin Cretton, our director, dropped off an envelope in my apartment uh, with a little note, you know, that, that said, you know, it's great to have you guys on board. That maybe this will be helpful, maybe it isn't, but open this envelope. And there was another envelope that had all these little pieces of paper in them and written on them were little conversation starters and topics. And it was great because there was never any lull and the, there was never any awkward lulls in, the, in, in, in getting to know each other in the I conversation. Hate lulls. Whenever, if, ever, if everyone was like, you know, approaching, we'd be like, let's, uh, hey, oh, yeah, there's like, another piece of paper. Oh, yeah, there. cool. Let's build a backstory. I am on the floor every day with those kids. And last night, that girl sat next to me and she cried and she tried to tell me the only way that she knew how. I, I couldn't even fathom what was happening the night that we won the uh, Grand Jury Prize at South by Southwest, mainly because I didn't realize that there were awards at South by Southwest. I thought everybody just, you know, watched a bunch of movies and you ate, barbecue ate some barbecue and, and uh, yeah. then went home. I was with a friend of mine who I hadn't seen in a while, and I was really enjoying myself. I was having a margarita a couple miles away, and. And then I started getting all these phone calls. I had my phone on silent, and they're like, where are you? And I realized it was the awards, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go. And my friend who had seen the film was like, I think you should go, and I couldn't find a ride. I tried to, I started walking there, and I found uh, this like dive bar with a bunch of motorcyclists, and tried to get some some guy on his hog to take me, and I was trying to convince him. Of, I was like, this is a weird thing, but I didn't know where it was. I'm like, it's at the convention center. He's like, girl, I don't know what you're talking about. This is my town. I ended up getting there right on time, like right as the award was kind of happening. And I was shocked and of course very happy that I had been there, especially since we needed a couple people to lift Destin up because he didn't move. They called the name and he just sat there. I think he was just in shock and he said it like this. And I thought, there's many more awards. We need to, to get this thing and get out of here so that people can win the big awards. And so everyone was crying and hugging and it felt so great and I was like, feels like bring it on. They're like, why does it feel like bring it on? I was like, because it's like, you know, it's like the team you love, the team you root for, and they don't win first place, but they win a prize, and through all the trials and tribulations, it's so good. And they're like, yeah, but this isn't like bring it on, because you won the first place prize. And I was like, what? And then it was like a whole new thing of tears. I just I was completely unaware of what any of it meant. And it was very, you know, it was life affirming in some, in some ways. Yeah.